of the Supremes who, along with Mary Wilson and Diana Ross, brought the world such absolute classics as Reflections, Someday We'll Be Together, the list is endless. She left it all to bring up her son and has now returned as a solo singer in, in her own right. And before we meet Cindy, how about a taste of her new single, Dancing Room? Uh, some mover, Cindy. You, I gather it's a song, in a sense, you almost prayed for because you left the business or the singing side of it for what, nine years? About uh, ten years, ten actually. Ten years. Seventy-seven. And why did you come back? Because I'm sort of reading about it. You almost said, well, I'm not going to come back until the song is right and my mood is right. Yeah, well, I felt the time was right now because the music today is being influenced so much by the 60s sound. I hear it in a lot of music, so I figured, well, they're doing my thing, I'm gonna get back at it there and do my thing too. Do my thing. Yeah. Do you find now that you've relaunched, as it were, there's a vast swell of support for you simply because of that Supremes background? Such a huge fan, huge amount of fans they've got. We had a huge following of fans, yes, in Britain as well as in the United States. And I find that I'm, I see a lot of the old faces again coming out to see me as I tour around the country. And it's great. It's always wonderful to see the fans. Was it all good news at the time when you were with the Supremes? I mean, there's some would be tempted to say it's life in a goldfish bowl. Well, it was hard work. And a lot of people forget the hard work part. They all they see the glamour and, you know, the image that we portray. But we worked harder than uh, most of the guys on the Motown label, I think, in those days. I mean... You did put in a lot of work and you put in a lot of hits, a too. Lot of hours, I noticed yeah. this song, The Dancing, was produced and uh, uh, basically done in Britain, wasn't it? Why was that? Why... Well, I purposely came back over here to get a recording contract because Britain is a place where uh, nostalgia is States, and I think in the United States, a point now where you're say, and I think uh, Britons have longer memories. Yeah. You've also come back, of course, to see Crafts Dog Show, haven't you, and the champion? Well, of course, I had to come see Bonnie. Because she's the supreme champion, supreme of course, champion. I have to be there. <laughs> well, maybe, maybe we can hang around, wait for a litter, and take them back to the States after quarantine, of course. I wouldn't mind. Is that, that's an option, I think she's isn't beautiful. It? <laughs> Cindy Birdsong, we're meeting you again, of course, uh, <laughs> as the course, as the show progresses. And uh, I'll let me echo Richard's words. Well done to the champ. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. <laughs> <laughs> She's not going to. No. Stay with no. us. We'll take a short break. Uh... The sofa has swelled with talent once again. Cindy Birdsong, Georgia Brown, who's summing through her photo album. Looking for my and, son. And James Greaves, surrounded by talent. Actually, Cindy and Georgia, one thing unites you, both of you. You're both, in a sense, single, single parent families. Yep. And what do your sons make of your careers? What, do they follow you around? No, my son literally has kicked me out of the house now and said, Mom, you can go back to show business, I don't need you any longer. Really? He's just turned 15 and uh, girls are calling every hour on the hour. And I think he wants me to be back here now, so, you know, we have such a good relationship. We're just really, really close. Yeah. Now, George is clearly... My son's girlfriends. Really? I think some of the young girls are like little sharks, actually. Oh, <laughs> oh really? <laughs> Some of them, you know, they're, they're just all over the young man. I said, boy, my son really doesn't have much of a chance. He's quite handsome, too. I, I think he is. And I wish I had my picture, but I left it in the green room. So proud, yes. Yes. Oh, yeah. They're following yeah. your example, are they, Jim? Yes, yes, yeah. yes. Do you give them advice? I mean, is, do you give them the sort of lecture? I mean, after all, both of you experience, had the kind of experiences that most people never even dream of. Do you, from your life, give them a, a, a lecture, a moral lecture, or a, a lessons on how to live life? Sometimes, but since my son's just turned 15, he really is into taking advice from mom. He now thinks he's the man of the house and can actually tell me what's right and what I should do. But um, I do try to give him advice. Mostly, it comes from his father at this age. I think he has more of an effect on 
uh, you know, changing his attitude and his way of thinking. And actually, he lives with his father uh, right now. And since I've reactivated my career, he is uh, living with his dad. <coughs> I wondered if what Mike was getting around to was that um, you enjoyed major prominence towards the end of the 60s and early 70s, of course, didn't you? Was life very different then? Is he able to say, well, look, come on, look what you were getting up to? Well, David yes. did travel Georgia. with me quite a, quite a <laughs> bit. And um, I don't know, he's, he's not really a show business kid, actually. I've sort of kept him kind of sheltered. He, in the early years, he traveled with me quite a bit. But he's not really been affected by the, the business. He really doesn't like it that much. He wants to go into the sports world for a career. And um, I, I don't think he's been influenced by that much of my lifestyle. If he'd read all about your life, there's certainly one aspect of your career that he would have hated, and that was the day that you were kidnapped. Oh, which yeah. hit all the world news, of course. Yeah. You were then one of the Supremes, about to make a farewell appearance, and mm -hmm. suddenly a man emerged into your life who obviously you never want to meet again. Right. You remind us what happened. Tell us what happened. Well, he was a stranger. He worked in the uh, security building, and which had a par an apartment in um, my early days with the Supremes. And I came home from rehearsal one day, and he was waiting in my apartment. He had a uh, pass key to all the uh, apartments in the building, and... Uh, took me out at knife point in my own car uh, onto the freeway and about two hours later after riding around uh, I jumped out of the car. When it was speeding I gather? Well we were going about 40 miles an hour miles an which hour. is pretty fast I guess for jumping out of a car and I got uh, pretty bruised but I didn't get any broken bones but I lot of, lost a lot of skin and mm. a lot of flesh mm. but it was a horrendous experience for me and uh, it, I can talk about it now, but for, for years I was very paranoid about going into rooms, hotel rooms, and um, being alone. It had, it's had a, a cliche, but that's the pro one price of fame that is totally unacceptable. Yes. Yeah. George, George, I just... Perhaps you can explain. Why does one half of America have the fattest people in the world, <laughs> and the other half have the fittest people in the world? What on earth is going on in America? I don't know, but th there is kind of a craze in California, I think, too. And sometimes it may seem a little extreme, but it is a healthy outlook. And it's sort of everybody has sort of jumped in on the bandwagon. I, I recently hired a coach who now helps me in a weight room at home. You don't go to Muscle Beach, do you? I have muscles now. <laughs> got muscles. Real muscles. <laughs> I can't flex them. It's kind of early to flex them this morning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. You've got a healthy outlook, both of you. Thanks for coming in today. Cindy, good luck with Dancing Room, which has had an enormous Thank amount you. of good reviews. And good luck with that uh, charity on Sunday. This Sunday, at for the Royal Mars in Royal the Theatre Royal Drury Lane, right. everybody come. Mac Made £80,000 so far. Okay. Good. And Jimmy, we're glad we, you haven't gone missing. No. Back again. I'm glad you were here this morning, Jim. Nice to see you. Yeah. 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 Smash it. Real privilege. <laughs> Archie is one of